see where we are living uh, today if you look at the cyber space it is full of uh, you know um, hit space at comment you know different prank video uh, uh, cyber stackling trolls uh, then filtering but you know that we need to keep a balance among them and then you will find some religious content which you can hurt you know um, religious sentiments and uh, even uh, regional uh, sentiment can be hurt then hate space and as well the censorship uh, then lawful content uh, and so how to basically think is that you know this is the uh, situation if you look uh, today at the social media and the internet everywhere you know we visit random blogs you will find you know so many kind of uh, hate space uh, or some you know effort of uh, defame somebody uh, so all these things are there <clears throat> then on the social media you can understand that it is full of uh, you know prank video then uh, cyber bullying then you know uh, many memes 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 then trolls and uh, everything right so how to keep a balance there and how you know we can uh, treat something as acceptable or not acceptable or Uh, what about legality of them okay so you can understand that most of the things people post uh, like you know trolls uh, then memes uh, hashtag you know prank videos everything you know the, most of the this most of these things people post on the social media or in the cyber space different places in name of uh, freedom of expression now question is that what is freedom of expression and what does you know allow it and what is not allowed uh, according to law in name of freedom of expression so objectable content if you see in the cyber space are mainly you know, child pornography hate speech defamation and direct and uh, <coughs> public uh, incitement to commit uh, genocide so this is very you know very dangerous thing then advocacy of uh, national racial religious hatred this is very common in india you will find it uh, you know on the cyber space then incitement to uh, discrimination uh, hostility and violence so <laughs> all these things are Uh, and our objectable uh, objectionable uh, content on the social uh, media and the uh, cyber space so what is freedom of expression in the there was a case uh, among the indian express newspaper okay, uh, <coughs> the court highlighted uh, the court hi- highlighted the freedom of expression star for broad social purpose so what are these uh, four things it helps an individual to attain self fulfillment by you know when an individual uh, can you know freely express their opinion and express their review or uh, you know uh, what with they stand with or what uh, they don't you know don't stand with and what is uh, you know support what does the support all these things when people uh, can you know express freely and then a uh, you know, human being feels as self human next is it assist democracy of now freedom of expression before it is Basically, helps that you know that helps the discovery of truth. Okay, then <coughs> it strengthens the, the capacity of an individual to participate participate in decision making. Right. Uh, like you know individuals can um, express expression or uh, their opinion so uh, that opinion can uh, you know uh, 
made uh, some uh, community decision or uh, you know some uh, cumulative decision okay and then it provides a mechanism by which it would be possible to establish a reasonable balance between stability and social change this is another thing you know this social change it uh, nobody can stop it you know it doesn't matter you know wherever on the in the in the world people are living everybody is going to some social change right so how this uh, balance will be um, maintained between the stability of our society okay, so, so that you know social change uh, should not be at a uh, acceleration that uh, it uh, distracts the stability of the society right so there should be some balance of you know whatever we are expressing whatever people are doing in the society our balance need to be maintained otherwise the stability will also not maintained right <laughs> then indian constitution what does it says freedom of speech and expression is the very first fundamental freedom uh, guaranteed under section 19 by 1 under article 19 by 1 a so it is one of the very first fundamental freedom guaranteed by our constitution okay this is not an absolute right and this is not an absolute right so uh, people of india can't say this uh, freedom of expression is guaranteed but this is not a absolute right there is terms and condition there is freedom of expression over a strict some terms and conditions are there it is not absolute right and is subject to certain restriction which have been uh, enumerated in article 192 19 section 2 okay then the freedom of speech and expression means the right to express express one's convictions and opinions freely by word speech how many ways uh, somebody can express the, their opinion or convictions by word of mouth word of mouth writing so people can writing you know review comment uh, article uh, and many things uh, story Uh, poem so anything can be anything you know written uh, uh, written document can be you know <coughs> a media of a medium of uh, expressing freedom of speech and uh, printing something is uh, you know allowed and pictures or many other modes so the you know the memes and the things are there they are basically comes under this then the printing posters and all and the people are done that they are also part of uh, expressing the freedom of speech word of mouth slogans and you know whatever and people um, speaks uh, you know for their opinion so when people speak up so all these things then i will see that uh, throughout the trip we will see that many uh, you know articles has been written many uh, poems are being written to express freedom of speech so uh, to express uh, the uh, opinions freely now and many times you will also find that many printed books are being banned in india many poems are being banned okay so <clears throat> it also includes the right of propagate or publish the views of other people okay so it also includes the right to propagate so uh, somebody can propagate their view or publish their view uh, uh, no sorry publish the view of other people as well okay then restrictions on freedom of speech and expression how do the restrictions are there article 19 section 3 of icc rp uh, sorry icc pr imposes restrictions on the following ground <clears throat> first one for respect of rights of reputation of others so 
when you, somebody is uh, exercising the right for right of freedom of speech and expression they must respect the right of reputation of others so in the name of freedom of expression and speech, or speech nobody can do anything which can you know uh, hamper or uh, destroy or then the threat of uh, you know, uh, destroying reputation of others that is not allowed okay for protection of national security or public order or public health or morale so freedom of uh, this cannot be used if it is going to hamper the national security any public order you know time to time uh, government need to uh, you know <coughs> need to issue public orders so it can be you know in uh, time of emergency in time of election and in time of you know, many other uh, kind of rights or any festive season or even uh, during you know covid uh, situation there was in the last two years, uh, many uh, public orders was there, right? Public order uh, like and uh, for uh, lockdown. So what is the rules of the lockdown and what public should follow? So that was public order, right? So by the government. Then <laughs> public health or moral, okay? And if it is going to, uh, you know, disrupt all these things, then. Uh, it is you know freedom of expression is uh, not going to be a right in these uh, grounds now as per article 19 section 2 of constitution of india the legislature may enact laws to impose restrictions on the right to speech and expression on the following ground the virginity and integrity of india so somebody's freedom of expression and space should not be a threat for the subordinity and integrity of India, right? Or against the subordinity or integrity of India. So, like, you know, uh, uh, to what, uh, few years back, two or three years back, uh, there was a case in uh, some university in Delhi. Uh, they had some slogans and they, which was, uh, you know, treated as against the subordinity uh, and uh, uh, integrity of our nation then security of state like say, um, uh, some information if uh, going to be a threat for a security of the state then that is not comes under uh, uh, freedom of speech friendly relation with uh, foreign state if it is go, you know somebody's freedom of speech going to hamper our friendly relation with some foreign states that is also going to be, you know, not a, not part of freedom of speech. Then, public order it should not hamper any public order, any decency or morality. Then, contempt of courts. Some court judgment came. So nobody can uh, criticize it or uh, in name of freedom of expression. So you can't give your expression or opinion on a court judgment. Okay. Then uh, you can't def defame someone or uh, you know, some organization. Defamation is not something that comes under uh, freedom of expression and incitement to an offense. So this is also you know, so it's inciting something um, for doing an or to or some uh, to lead it to some offense is also uh, not comes under freedom of expression and speech. Then what does the idea rule? 2021 says so you know long time you know india was uh, not uh, had uh, you know mm, not uh, documented or <coughs> you can say amended uh, any it rules and uh, you know that is another reason of you know, um, <coughs> people they, you know, many people who are uh, getting uh, victim of such bad attacks and victim of uh, some other uh, you know offenses related to cyber uh, you know that not getting proper you can say rules and uh, guidelines uh, if, you know india have the it act 2008 hmm? but after that you know uh, there is many open uh, you can say areas of uh, cyber security 
and cyber crime which uh, can be addressed better with different by you know amended with different laws like uh, in 2021 a very good one came that is uh, regarding ott so you all know what is ott platform like netflix uh, amazon uh, prime and all right so previously what was there that on ott platforms people was uh, you know releasing and they in name of freedom of expression people was able to release any video or anything but you know within a, you know two three years this ott platforms became so popular it is not uh, you know it is not like the conventional ott when it was long, you know came the concept came in five years back okay so right now it is um, what it is becomes became almost public media like you know tv channels or uh, you know some uh, you can say uh, some um, <clears throat> you know movie or it is almost similar kind of uh, you know uh, online movie distribution or online movie watching so it is uh, no more a small matter it became very much you know public media so government had to bring some uh, laws and regulations against uh, these uh, ottts or to not against uh, to regulate these ottts and that uh, happened so <laughs> intermediate guidelines and digital media ethics code the government has brought ott platforms showcasing films and audio visual program published by online content provider as well as the platforms which showcase news, current affairs, uh, current affairs content on <coughs> them under its wing. So the government uh, came all these uh, activities uh, under this very uh, rule and content published on such platform which hurt sentiments and were offensive to individual such as senses containing violence, nudity, obscenity incident uh, representation of women and child sex abuse material so all these <coughs> things was uh, disturbing and as it became you know very much a uh, public media in india uh, all over the world it is becoming so it had to so that is what happened okay additionally there was also content uh, that hurt the religious sentiment of people uh, prior to these rules the, there existed no robust uh, grievance redressal mechanism to effectively address the um, complaints of the masses. So this is uh, no, uh, there was uh, previous to this uh, rule, there was uh, no such rule which was uh, no, uh, able to address uh, this kind of uh, you know, grievances uh, like uh, you know, uh, uh, religious sentiment uh, of people is hearted or uh, all these kind of uh, senses, uh, you know, which can, uh, you know, which can be offensive for individuals. Okay, so everybody may not uh, like you know, able to take these senses as a, you can say, acceptable thing in their, you know, drawing room. So all these things uh, are supposed to be censored and go through some, you know, regulatory body. So that happened by this rule. Now it is a quite old one, but you can see here. Um, uh, can block websites like China, Delhi, High Court, once Facebook and uh, Google. So in 2012, on, a, on, a, on some case, uh, as Google and uh, Facebook was kind of uh, you know, not following the Indian government's uh, guidelines. Definitely, the um, high court had a um, verdict against them, and uh, definitely, uh, the latter they have changed their way of uh, you know, doing business in India. <laughs> then, international uh, convenient on civil and political right. So, what is this? If you see. So, as with offline content, when a restriction is imposed as an exceptional measure on online content, it must pass a three-part 
cumulative test. So what is this three-part cumulative test? So it is saying that like you know for offline content uh, we this content goes through an you know, offline content goes through uh, multiple layers of checking and then only it is going to be published. So like that you know for online content also it, every online content must pass a three-part cumulative test. Okay, so it may be any content. It may be your you know a notice going to be online on your company website. That also better to go through some compile you know compilers and uh, cumulative tests. Okay, so what are these uh, things? Uh, it must be provided by law, which is clear and accessible to everyone. Okay, so this is what principle of predictability and transparency this, that means the, the law must uh, clearly state that uh, what is uh, you know clear and accessible to everyone okay so this is uh, comes under the principle of uh, predictability and transparency then it must pursue one of the Purpose set out by Article 19, Paragraph 3 of the International Convenient of Civil and Political Rights, namely to protect the right or reputation of others, to protect national security, or uh, public order, or public health morals. Okay. So this is comes under principle of legitimacy. So all these principles are basically law students so who studies. Uh, they studied all these things in detail. Okay, so <coughs> it must be proven as necessary, and uh, so it, whatever is published, it, it must be proven at, as necessary. And uh, the least restrictive means required to achieve the purported aim of necessity and uh, proportionality. In addition, any legislation restricting the right to freedom of expression must be applied by a body which is independent of any political, commercial, or other unwarranted influences in a manner that is neither arbitrarily nor discriminatory. There should also be adequate safeguard against abuse, including the possibility of challenge and remedy against this abusive application okay so all these uh, the these are the you know, three points that community taste together are need to be you know applicable okay then article 19 of the international convenient of civil and political rights everybody shall have the right to hold opinions without interference okay? that means Everybody had the right to hold the opinion without interference. I mean, when somebody is uh, you know, raising or expressing their opinion, nobody can interfere and you know, manipulate them. Okay. Right to freedom of expression, which is the right shall include freedom of seek, receive, and impart information and ideas of all kinds, regardless of contains either orally in writing or in print in the form of art or through any other media of his choice okay the exercise of rights provided in paragraph 2 of this article carries with special duties and responsibilities it must therefore be subject to certain restriction but uh, these shall only be such as provided by law and are as necessary <coughs> for respect for uh, right of reputation of others for protection of national security or public order or public health or two point in our very important point you know, regarding freedom of uh, speech and exp expression okay. now uh, this is uh, just a comment uh, from a Chinese human rights activist, uh, Huajia. Freedom of expression is the starting point of right of all citizens 
okay, is the key to open the uh, democratizing uh, democratization of China. So he is speaking about China. Protect your freedom of speech is my civil responsibility. Safeguarding freedom of expression in the society, it is my civic mission. Okay. Oh, uh, anyway, so uh, China again is a foreign country, so I don't uh, want to uh, speak uh, much about uh, freedom of expression and rules regulation in China. What is going on and what is there? Okay. <coughs> so if you see the tree of uh, freedom of expression and uh, you know, uh, uh, rules of law, law, so you can see that three things are there at the top. First, you need freedom. You need peace, and you need justice. So the balance should be you know, among these three things. Your freedom or expression of your freedom should not be at such a high that it is going to hamper somebody's peace, and uh, it is going to you know going to be an injustice to someone else. So the freedom is good, but you know it must have a it must be guided by some rules and regulations, right? So that peace, peace and justice can also be you know, maintained. At the same time, uh, you know, to be, uh, be peaceful or to re consistently uh, sustain your peace in the country, uh, like you know, democracy and everything, you need freedom of expression. If you Find that freedom of expression is not there at up to a legitimate level, then slowly the peace is going to be again distracted. Okay, in the same way, you know, justice is also required to have you know sustainable, peaceful uh, you know, society. And at the same time, justice, you know, what justice is provided that should not hamper somebody's freedom of expression or speech. Uh, and as well as peace of the society. So justice should be provided uh, uh, in such a way that it maintains the peace in the society and also it respect the freedom of peace and expression of individuals. So equal and inalienable right of all members of the human family. Okay? Then only you can say that all everybody, every stakeholder are going to be happy. So, who determines the balance? So, European Court of Justice, EU law, I mean, European Union law, uh, precludes, precludes the imposition of an inju injunction by national court which requires an internet service provider to install a filtering system with a view to preventing the illegal downloading of files, see the you know, press report, uh, these are the press report. So it is saying that uh, the internet service providers must install filtering system with a view to preventing the illegal downloading of files. Uh, this is something uh, can, you know, Tracking the files, uh, you know, and uh, filtering them can somehow uh, restrict the against where the health in the keeping of bad. Okay. Now we see prioritization of the rights. So what are the rights are on priority? Asking freedom to receive and import information. So freedom to receive and impart information, then intellectual property right, then right to you know, internet service provider, right of internet service providers to conduct business freely, and right of consumers to privacy. So these four rights are very important on cyberspace. Okay. So trends, here you can see some trends in U.S. protection of uh, private ownership uh, uh, right against privacy. Then Europe is having protection to, sorry, protection of private rights to be 
left alone the Europe and then India, China, Pakistan, Iran, Fiji are having their public orders. Then <coughs> ideal basis for protection of freedom of speech. Legal legal basis for the protection of freedom of speech. So objective is that to, what is the legal basis for protection of freedom of speech in the United States and what type of speech are not protected under the law. In what ways does the internet present new challenges in the area of freedom of expression? Then what keep these issues related to the use of information technology? The first amendment right in the Constitution of India says the right to freedom of expression. Important right for this is important right for free people everywhere. Guaranteed by First Amendment, definition of free speech includes nonverbal, visual, and symbolic forms of expression. So, right to speak anonymously. So, all these things comes under the right of freedom of expression under the First Amendment right. So, it is the very first right in the United States. Then First Amendment rights, uh, not protected by the First Amendment, what are the things? Option space, defamation, incitement of panic, uh, incitement of crime, fighting words, and sedition. So all these things, any uh, an activity or any expression, so any expression you know, can lead to any of these or uh, means any of these uh, are not protected okay so anything any expression or speech can uh, lead to all these things are not protected under first amendment okay. then option space the space is <coughs> considered option is when average person find the work appeals to Prurient interest, work depicts or describes sexual conduct in an offensive way, then lacks of serial, serious literary, artistic, political, or scientific value. Okay. So you can understand if some space is uh, lacking serious literary, artistic, social, uh, sorry, uh, artistic, political, or scientific value then it is going to be treated as option space. So option space, uh, then you will understand that in India, 50% of the space are going to be <laughs> option space. And so most of the people speak, you know, uh, unscientific uh, things without, you uh, know, proper reason behind it, uh, right? So that is another uh, argument. Uh, then defamation. What is defamation? Publication of a statement of alleged fact that is false, harms another person, harms, harm is often influential nature. It can be in other nature also, like uh, reputation damage and one other uh, harm. Okay, then uh, slander, oral defamatory statement, liable, and Written defamatory statements. So all these things are comes under you know, defamatory statements, not defame someone. Then freedom of expression. The key issues are controlling access to information on the internet. It is very hard to do because we need to maintain the anonymity of the people. Like you know, on the internet, I, I am purchasing something. People should not know who I am and why I am purchasing. And uh, you know, based on that. Uh, after some day, somebody will not come and uh, say, okay, you had purchased this, then you may purchase this one also. So some recommendation issue is not expected. Okay, so the anonymity is uh, you know, something is very important on the cyberspace. Then defamation is another thing, you know, somebody's comment uh, against somebody or about someone else, 
can be a defamatory comment okay. head space and quite a common thing i know many times so we find them in the cyberspace social media or even on tv televisions right so then pornography they you know so controlling all these things are very hard you know and they are becoming the you know key issues under you know freedom of expression so people are, you know very often do all these things and they think that okay i have not done any you know anything wrong it is our you know, freedom of expression so cda 230 this is a, you know communication decency act us code 230 very popular one okay it is uh, regarding on uh, freedom of speech on internet is complicated by children access so uh, under this act you can see aimed at uh, protecting the children from online pornography broad language and vague definition of indecency and indecency indecency and uh, you know found unconstitutional in 1997 then another act is uh, quite uh, common and important you will find many times and many website also said that we are copa compiled what is that copa is a act uh, is called child online protection act okay so it applies communication for commercial purpose only and imposes uh, penalties for exposing minors to harmful material on the web and found unconstitutional in 2004 and internet filters can be used for this and software installed with a browser and block access to certain websites that contain inappropriate or offensive materials <laughs> then controlling access to information on the internet how can it can be controlled there can be url filters that uh, whenever you are trying to open some uh, url uh, your url filter can block them like many institute you will find you know uh, maybe your institute also all the url you can't open from this institute network or internet okay if you try to open immediately to say that this url is blocked by your Uh, network admin then blocks url or domain names and keyword filtering if you know the site uh, contains certain keywords it can be blocked by using keyword filtering then blocks keywords or phrases dynamic content filtering website content is evaluated immediately before being displayed so that it can, it can be done that you know Uh, a real time filter can be installed uh, on the network so that every website and you know, the network users who are trying to open they can be immediately immediately you know before being displayed uh, they, uh, they can be immediately evaluated okay then uses are like you know object analysis image recognition if there is image in there what image it is <coughs> then other are some of the popular internet filters are content protect uh, cyber seater then net nanny cyber patrol and head filters okay so these are uh, some of the popular internet filters can be installed on the systems uh, for some network then ic array rating system is another uh, rating system uh, by looking at which uh, Uh, people can understand that which websites are trustable and does not have anything harmful thing then questionnaires for web authors uh, whoever authoring the uh, you know content like you know if you are down, uh, uploading a video on youtube then you know, you will find uh, many questions youtube is asking that uh, does your video contains uh, any sexual material is it for below 18 people there many questions they ask but at the same time on social media when you post anything uh, they don't uh, have any question for the author which is very you uh, know strange but uh, i think uh, they must have questionnaires at least when people are uploading images and videos 
at least a few questions like uh, you know uh, do you think it is uh, uh, you know uh, this image does not belongs to somebody else uh, or it is not property of somebody else and that this image does not uh, and it's uh, somebody's uh, you know right uh, uh, rights of uh, living with respect right so all these things uh, can be questionaries then generates a content label and based on this then uses platform user uses platform for internet content selection or px standard user can configure browser to read the level of the block content and relies on web authors to read their site so whoever the, you know authoring the website that means uh, putting material on the website or writing uh, the text which is for website they must uh, you know, be reliable and we can rely on them Okay. and uh, they they can be read themselves so that what kind of content they are putting okay. then compile it to other filtering techniques other techniques are like uh, ist blocking the internet service provider uh, can block the you know things that like you know, in india you will find that uh, many websites you can't open in india okay so who block them basically ips is got order from the government to block this urls they have blocked for all you know all over india blocking is performed on the ips server in this case, in case and clear sale and family.net uh, prevents access to certain sites okay so these are uh, some other uh, you know, tools can be used <coughs> then Uh, federally, the finance school, federally financed schools and libraries must block computer access to obscene material, pornography, anything considered harmful for the minors. Uh, school and libraries subject to CIPA. That means uh, this is the act. Okay. Um, do not uh, receive internet access uh, and uh, discount unless they certify that. internet safety measures are in place okay required to adopt the policy to monitor this online activities of minors okay so the federal government of usa finance schools and libraries they need to assure that uh, their computers and their in their network uh, no obscene materials are accessible no pornography is accessible and anything considered harmful for the minors are not accessible okay and they they are supposed to monitor the online activity of the minors their network then cipa which is a children internet uh, protection act is cipa cipa does not require the tracking of uh, internet uh, use by minors or adults okay acceptable use uh, policy agreement is an essential element of a successful program in school signed by students parents and the employee so uh, there should be a acceptable policy agreement okay with the school as per this uh, norms and which will be signed by the student parents and employees that uh, you know that uh, you know they, everybody will Uh, the you know we will follow the policy agreement you know, user policy of the internet okay so this is something then <coughs> difficulty implementing of uh, cipa in libraries because their services are open for to all people uh, of all ages including adults and first amendment rights because there will be people enter in the library who exercise their first amendment right that is Uh, you know freedom of expression and speech then another thing comes uh, as a challenge that is, uh, that is anonymity of people over internet people of uh, anonymous expression people can state um, opinions without uh, revealing their identity uh, in a wrong hands it can be tool for committing illegal and unethical activities and anonymous uh, 
remailer services are available also then uh, computer program that strips the origin address from the email message are also in a big challenge for anonymity and forward the message to the integrated recipient intended recipient and ensures no header information so basically you know, anonymity serves two kind of things uh, and for some people anonymity is very important to have and for some people anonymity may be a threat like you may still think that uh, you are getting anonymous mail which does not have a header and the headers of email basically contains the source of the mail who have sent you the mail if that is not uh, there on the mail then it, you maybe become upset that who sent this mail right and on the other hand if uh, you know that person is anonymously expressing something and you can be really a potential uh, you know a listener and then it can be you know they can send an anonymous mail or you know in some other uh, situations anonymity is really required like you know expenditure banking um, online and all these things uh, needs anonymity okay. then uh, john do also it is another event of uh, their anonymity that identity of uh, dependent is temporarily unknown and common in internet uh, libel cases common in internet libel cases then dependent communicates using a pseudo rand uh, uh, sorry pseudonym or anon anonymously so pseudonym is basically a dummy name which is uh, does not exist in real okay then ips is sub uh, pointed uh, po pointed uh, to provide the identity by filing a lawsuit the company gains immediate uh, subpoena power that means you know somebody is doing you know something anonymously and if uh, somebody wants to you know, know that who is this anonymous person then uh, the internet service provider can uh, use subpoena it uh, can be subpoenaed you know, to provide the identity so they are uh, supposed to provide the identity of the anonymous uh, you know user and uh, by filing a lawsuit the company or you know anybody can gain the immediate subpoena uh, power to track who is the anonymous person if something illegal is uh, happen definitely okay then national security letters are another thing required financial institution to turn over uh, the electronic records of suspected terrorist spy vs protect act allow the fbi to use nsls to obtain record from banks and other financial institutions if they are sought for an intelligence or ter terrorism investigation so for you know intelligence or terrorism investigation the fbi and other agencies in usa can uh, obtain records from banks and other financial institution so there you can't claim your anonymity the national security letters are like you know us protect act as a patriot act includes gag provisions like harm cannot inform customers of the investigation like you know uh, you, um, some agency came to your bank to you know get information about uh, some of its customer So the bank can't inform the customer that okay the police had came and he was asking about you. The bank can't do that legally. Then uh, intelligence uh, authorization act for special year 2004 and expanded the scope of discovery beyond the financial institutions and now includes the internet service providers as well. Then uh, defamation and hate speech we have. Uh, Okay, already a little bit. So. Um...